How's it going everybody and welcome back to another day here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. And I already have the sense of what this letter is going to be and who it is going to be from. It is indeed from Boone. Boone is no longer living in Pomoja, and I am still dressed up as Princess Pe uh Princess Peach. Oh dear god. Princess Zelda. Let's let's just read the letter. Let's forget I mixed up the uh I almost said Disney princesses and now I think I really need to go get a cup of coffee because I am losing my mind. Well, James, moving day has finally come. To be honest, I'm a little uneasy. Do you think there's a good gym in my new town? What if my new rival is... better than me? Aw, oh, man. A determined Boone. Aw, oh, man, it's sad to see Boone go. It was so sad seeing Hamfrey leave, and it's even sadder now that Boone is gone. While I'm here, I guess I can grab my shovel, because we're gonna be going around the town and doing the daily routine. Uh, I believe in the little opening where they show the title sequence and all that stuff, I saw a... Well, I didn't see this, but I'll take it, but I did see a uh, fossil location, and I do believe that is our uh, gem rock. So there we go, we got an emerald, please don't be the fit, uh, the fit Paul? No, the pitfall trap. There we go, another fossil. Two fossils already, not bad. Uh, but yeah, so, oh man, Boone lived right here, right where I'm standing. It's so weird now that he's gone. Oh, I miss Boone already. Uh, by the way, this right here, I never really mentioned this, but, uh, I ended up building the Reset Center, uh, and yeah, so it's right here in the little corner of town. I think, I don't, might have mentioned it in passing, I don't really know, but I did record the video of Resetty appearing the day after it's built, and you should be seeing that right now, on the very top of my head, maybe over it, until it transitions to showing the skyline. Right there, yeah. Um, but yeah, I ended up building the Reset Center. Um, I'm not sure the actual means to access it, because normally you can't. Um, I'll figure it out. I, I'll look it up or something. But uh, yeah, so... I'm going to be going around, going around the town. I'm going to be looking for my fossils and things. Oh, wow. Already three out of the four foss possible fossils that we can get all right here. Dang, okay. Uh, of course, look for mushrooms as well. And yeah. Uh, oh, and the uh, bell rock, cause yeah, I needs me some bells. Anyway, uh, yeah, I will meet you when I am done doing the routine. And that includes picking up mushrooms as well. All right, I just finished doing the daily routine. I got the bell rock last, of course, obviously. And now it is time to see which amiibo that we scanned is, I worded that wrong, let's just go to the campground. And here we are. You can probably tell based off the RV who we are gonna be seeing today. I believe that's a Blanca again? Yeah, that has to be Blanca's. That I've seen that way too many times, and we've seen Blanca way too many times. Alright, well, into the scanned RV we go. And if you guessed Mr. Rossetti, you would be correct, because I figured with the whole building the reset center and actually acknowledging it, again, I think I already have, I might have, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, but in just in case I didn't, it's basically it's Mr. Rossetti Day. Constantly monitoring your system status and maintaining a deep well of reserve anger can be tiring. So, Rossetti likes to unwind with a little camping. And boy indeed does he look like he uh, likes to unwind. Look at him in his not work outfit. Hello, Mr. Rossetti. Huh? When did you get here, kid? It's, uh, not what it looks like in here. Yeah, well, I bet this looks like a fun little camping trip to you, but you couldn't be more wrong. It's more of a business trip. I'm, uh, just doing research on a potential client, that's all. 
It's all very hush-hush. As such, I hope it's clear to you that this conversation never happened. Look at his eyes. He really is serious. My goodness. All right, please keep your head turned this way. As oh my god. <laughs> the angry face. Oh, uh, anyway. Let's take a look at your furniture. The old wallpaper and floor. A accordion screen. The bathroom stall. Box with helmet. That looks pretty cool. The large tea table. Of course, a Nintendo 3DS, because you are an Animal Crossing figure. Overflowing trash. The half-eaten pizza. <laughs> a Rossetti model, which I might pick up? Yeah, I'll, I'll pick that up. Why not? It's been a while since we spent some Meow coupons. Might as well actually do it. A wall fan. A wall-mounted TV and a Wii U console. I think I'll pick up the wall-mounted TV as well? I'm not really sure if I want to pick up the wall fan or not. No, I think I'll save my meow coupons, yeah. I'll just stick with the TV and the Rossetti model. Mr. Rossetti, enjoy your not day off, but business meeting Intel thingamajig. Our next stop for the day is Town Hall, because it's finally time to build another public works project. And I actually was suggested one, a couple of days ago, and I do want to build it because it is a very important building to add to your town. So, let us start a new project. Here are the current requests, and there it is. Either a modern police station, or a classic police station. Now, depending on which one you choose, you will have two different police officer villagers that run said police station. Now, last time I... my last town that I won't name, uh, I believe I built the classic police station just because it looked, you know, more old-timey. But I mean, this is a more modern game. If this was Animal Crossing... Uh, if this was the original Animal Crossing, I probably would pick a classic police station-like feel because, you know, it's a classic. But New Leaf is more modern, so I think I'm going to build the modern police station. And both options are fairly cheap at being 264,000 bells each, so let's do the modern police station. Yep. Yep, we will get started on that immediately, and now I need to go find a place to build it. Yeah, this might take a while. You know, it didn't actually take long to think of a perfect spot. I think putting it next to the town hall would be good. Because, you know, we can have the police officer in town right next to the town hall. And Isabel does have an option for problematic villagers in town. Right at the front desk. So, it kind of works out. We'll pick this spot right here. And now, of course, it is time to start fundraising for said... Yeah, alright. Yes, gather donations with Lloyd, the helpful gyroid. Yes, we will build that modern police station and we will get it done, hopefully by the end of the day. Yes, we will build the modern police station. You're this amount of bells away. Let's give you, for now, a hundred and twenty-five thousand. There we go. We do want to keep some bells on us. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to, you know, uh, what am I thinking of? We don't want to blow our budget, especially since we're heading to Main Street right now to do a couple of things. Of course, our usual shopping and uh, things of that nature. So, yeah, we're gonna ignore kicks. We'll actually go to the Able Sister shop. We'll start out with the accessory side of the store, just to see what they have. Uh, is that a... A red pom-pom hat. It looks like more like a, uh, like a Santa beanie. Uh, but they do sell Santa hats in n December, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that doesn't make sense. Anyway... Uh, yeah, we'll just go into the other, uh, store to see what they have. I don't think they'll really have anything that I want, though. What is this? These are the- oh! 
dry denim pants. I already have dry denim pants, so... Yeah, I'll just leave those there. Nothing really interests me here, so... Yeah, I guess it's off to the next door! Oh, I thought... <laughs> I actually shut up there because I thought, like, most of the other places in uh, the towns that uh, the Able Sister shop automatically stopped uh, the dialogue and kicked you out manually. But no, I was mistaken. However, ooh, yay, another cedar sapling. And an axe, perfect. Oh, but I don't think I have any room, do I? Right? Hang on, let me check my inventory. I have four open slots that is perfect for what we want to get. Oh man, that is actually neat. All right. Get the cedar sapling, the axe cedar sapling, and of course we're gonna get our two flowers for the day. We'll plant these on our way back into town because we do have some stuff that we can sell at retail. I would have already stopped off there, but I do have the fossils on me from today, so just in case, just in case Blathers doesn't need all four, we can sell them off with the items in our inventory at retail. But however, that means for now we gotta skip the Super TNT Mart, we can't get our daily fortunes until we do the thing, so I'll be right back! I'm coming, I just need to assess my fossils. I have cleared out my inventory, and I have come to claim my two fortune cookies for the day. Yes, give me both of them, take my four play coins, and let us get this show on the road. I want some good items today, Timmy. You better give me some good items. There better be some good tickets inside here. Literally, the only other item I have right now besides these fortune cookies in my inventory is the freaking cedar sapling that I just bought. You will soon be visited by a mustachioed man. I think that's the big bro mustache, and we've already gotten that, I believe, so that's a repeat. Let's see what this fortune is. Some people shy away from bombs, but you are not some people. Uh, is that new? I think is that... I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't have items to sell. No. The only thing you can buy is the freaking cedar sapling, if that was even the case. What would you even buy that for? I know it would be a lot uh, less uh, valuable if you uh, if you bought it instead of Reese, even though that would be way tiny because, you know, I bought it for like 80 bells at uh, the <laughs> garden store. A block, oh, a block floor. I'm dumb. Why did I think that was something else? Anyway. We already got the block floor, so I could sell that back off to retail, or I could keep it for a friend. Alright, let's see what the other fortune is. I believe it was fortune 15. Yeah, it was. Okay. What is fortune 15? What does this fortune hold for us? It is... The Yellow Pikmin. Okay. We have a red Pikmin hat, and now we got a yellow Pikmin hat. Tomorrow, can we get blue? Or sometime this weekend. Anyway, uh, what items do you have? I'm not really interested in the starboard, even though that kind of reminds me of Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. And an old-fashioned TV? A widescreen TV. Man, I, rem I remember when widescreen TVs actually did used to look like this. Blocky instead of flat. My, my, how times have changed. Oh great, look who I found up washed off on the beach. Well, it's a good thing I came over here before I went to the island. At least I can maybe not end this day in disappointment. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah, Gulliver, yeah, wake up right now, please. I don't wanna... Gulliver, please. Gulliver. 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 Dude, wake up. Dude? Dude? Thank you! Oh my god, alright. Okay, cute. No. No, Gulliver, no. Yeah, you're, you're... You're no princess. You're a guy that has amnesia all the time. 
Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? You sound like a certain person I know. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Lost at sea. Biggest ever. Sea an enemy. Come to think of it. Uh, last. Uh, least remember the name of the silly place. Yes, context clues. Give me them so I can maybe figure it out. Bobbery of Rogueport. Yes, yes. Start with anything you remember. Country you were headed to is very green. Everywhere you look, yup, you see green. It's to the point they sometimes call this place the Emerald Isle. The symbol of the country it... Oh. Well, that's easy. It's Ireland. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Ireland. Ireland? That's it! We have a winner! Thanks to you, I'm saved. I was off to get some R and R. I'm off to get some R. Oh no, I am. I what? Gulliver, goodbye. Go to Ireland. Okay, yeah. Relax for weeks. Send me an item. Thank you. At least it's not another freaking chocolate coin. All right, now to the island we go. Or better yet, a jump cut back to my house in disappointment. I could really use a pick-me-up because, of course, of course, they didn't have the silver axe. I might as well just wait and save my time and wait until I get the golden axe. Spoiler alert, there are golden items in this game. Brewster, do you have any uh, options of coffee with alcohol in them? I am of age, technically. Drink responsibly, kids. Uh, yeah, 200 bells for a cup. I'll throw in an extra 1,000 bells for, uh, something. Ooh, wait, we have a, a new option. Milk. We can do lots, regular, just a little bit, or none at all. You know what? I usually don't drink milk in real life. It's a rare instance when I do. So, just a little bit then. All right. Try this well-seasoned brew. How quaint! Ah, it's just a touch on the mild side. I could drink gallons of this! I could drink gallons of it if it had, a uh, you know, quote-unquote, milk in it to soothe my troubles. Cool. Thank you. No, Brewster, thank you. I needed that little pick-me-up. I need another pick-me-up, technically a lot stronger with, like, you know, 12% of a certain thing. Anyway, I should stop talking now, and I should... <laughs> I should just head inside and call it a day. So, that is going to do it for today here in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, usually... I would say see you on Monday. However, there are a couple things that I actually want to show off, and it relates to playing the game tomorrow. Because there is a fishing tournament in town tomorrow, and, well, my birthday's next week. So there's actually something special awaiting us at nighttime in... Club LOL. For now, I will leave things there, and until then, thank you for watching.